Hi again from the PD Toots team. In this tutorial, we're focusing on the Freeform tool. We can use it to simply reshape, but setting keyframes allows us to be creative and make motion out of nothing. The Freeform tool was used in two of our previous Toots, making a customised transition effect. And finally, just as before, move it to the right one section or frame. Then click on Save. And now the new custom transition effect should look like this. And applying frames in video making. Then use the freeform keyframes to reshape and reproportion. As we're hovering over a corner, a small cross sign appears to activate the freeform tool. It doesn't matter whether it's video, photos or clip art, the freeform tool is used in the same way. Let's take a look at the main steps in PD12. The freeform tool is accessed in PIP Designer by clicking Modify. The white handles are for basic resizing. Hovering over the blue handles brings up a cursor with a cross icon. That's the freeform tool. White handles for resizing. Blue handles for freeforming. Dragging the blue handle allows us to reshape the object in any way we want. Easy! Like all the keyframes in PowerDirector, freeform keyframes can be set to change throughout the clip. Let's get our little gymnasts moving. Under the Motion tab, you can use one of the presets if you wish, but we're going to click the blue cross to make a customised path. It's important, very important, to start by setting the first and last keyframes. That's where the object will start and finish. First, add new scale, motion and freeform keyframes at the start. Duplicate these keyframes at the end. Now, select a keyframe point to place the scrubber and add new keyframes by clicking on the little white diamonds. Next, we set the freeform keyframe using the blue handles. Then, again by dragging the blue dot, set the motion keyframe. Further along the timeline, we repeat those steps for the next keyframe point. Add the keyframes, then set them. First freeform, then motion. So, we've created motion where there was none. In preview, we see that the motion is fluid and continuous. Let's insert some pauses to create start-stop motion. We do this by inserting duplicate keyframes. Duplicating keyframes produces pauses in the motion. Put the scrubber at the desired keyframe point and duplicate the previous keyframes. Scale, 
motion and free form. Then repeat. For the final keyframe, select the keyframe point and choose Duplicate Next, so the object will be still at the end. Duplicating keyframes has created short pauses with no motion or changes. Here are some examples where scale, rotation, motion and freeform keyframes have been used together. In our first example, the keyframes look like this. Rotation control has been set in keyframe and clip attributes. Example 2 is a little simpler, with no rotation, just a lot of distortion. Our third example is packed with keyframes. Half of them are just duplicates to give stop-start motion. Again, rotation control is done in keyframe and clip attributes. Go on, give it a try, it's fun! Thanks for watching and happy freeforming from the PD Toots team!